that you call me by my name The love you give me, I just can't deny No longer blinded, I can see you I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can come to you when weary of my flesh Good morning, you guys, and welcome to Vlogmas. You guys, last year I tried doing this and it was a complete flop. This year, I'm going to try my best to do a video for 25 days straight. And you guys know my daughter's birthday is in December, so um, she turns 19 this year. Y'all, she is, baby, she's 19 and I'm so proud of her. But in today's video, I want to talk about how I start my day with faith. Um, my faith journey is something that I was not going to share on social media with you guys, but um, I started doing little pieces here and there and because I don't play about my God and don't come for him because I'll come for you. Okay, but I started to just slowly but surely reveal some things about my faith and it has definitely been helping a lot of people. So I wanted to continue that in the month of December. So for the first Vlogmas video, I'm gonna tell you guys how I start my day with faith, what I do, some of the things that I do to start my morning. Um, now, my routine changes when I have to go to work in the morning. I leave the house 45 minutes early every morning so I can get to the parking lot and I can start my day with faith at work. So instead of me um, waking up early to do my Bible study in my bed, because I would get comfortable and go back to sleep. Like after I read the word of God, I feel so comfortable. I feel so comfort. I feel so at peace. I just kind of like want to lay in his arms and I want to go back to sleep. So I will do it when I get to work. But the first thing I like to do when I wake up is I like to journal. I got this journal from Hobby Lobby. It says, focus on what brings you joy. I thought this was real cute. I like the spiral of this. And then I'm not going to show you guys. I like the big pages that it has in it. So I like to write in my journal how I had a night went. Did I sleep? Did I have any dreams? Anything else happened? So I like to write in my journal every single morning when I wake up. The second thing I do is I mentioned this book before on my TikTok. So hey y'all. Um, and this is 15 minutes along with God. I like to, I'm at the very end y'all. Look, I'm not even done. So it has 15 minutes God and every single chapter has a verse. It has a key verse and then it goes into maybe like about uh, five paragraph and then thoughts for action. So this is what I like to read 15 minutes long with God. And then if I feel like the scripture is pertaining to something that is heavy on my mind, I will research the scriptures that they recommended because me, I sometimes still need direction in my walk with God. I still need someone to point me in the right direction because of course I'm confused. I don't know where I'm going. Don't know what I'm doing. So I like to start with reading 15 minutes with god i found this at a um, thrift shop i like to go thrifting a lot so i found this and this was definitely like really really blessed my soul i really believe that you can find this on amazon i will try to link it for y'all in the video so in the description so you guys can go buy this this is a great way to spend time with god and to point you in the right direction it talks about marriage it talks about relationship it talks about singleness it talks about friends it talks about um dating it talks about everything like she wrote this and she did that the second thing that i like to do is i have my ipad mini and i have my regular ipad too so i use both of my ipad i like to put on some gospel music when i am listening to or reading the word of god i like to set the tone i grew up in a baptist pentecostal um foot stomping hand clapping church of god in christ so with that being said, I like to have the music set when I am starting to read the Bible. So I would put on some old Kirk Franklin type of music. Let me just show you guys. Uh, where is some music in? Oh, it I didn't have Apple Music on my iPad. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Hmm. 
it's on my other iPad. That's what it is. So I have like my gospel playlist. This is my gospel playlist and comment down below if you want it. You could just search my name in Apple Music and all my playlists will come up. But um, it has my gospel music playlist, Kurt Franklin, um, Corinne Hawthorne, a little bit of Maverick City, Mary Mary. We have Fred Hammett, Travis Green, CeCe Winans, um, Smokey Longfolk. That's how he says his name. Shekinah Glory Ministry. Um, yeah, I just, old school music for me. So I like to set the tone, have that playing. Then when I go into my Bible, this is my Bible. I don't want a new one, but I think it's time to get a new one. I didn't have this for years, y'all, but I love it. Um, I have scriptures up here. It says read every single day. I took these tabs and I applied it. So I like to start my day with um, read every single day verse and it says this is Luke 12 and 23 life is more than food and the body is more than clothes consider the ravens for the things neither sow nor reap which have neither storehouse nor bonds and God barns and God's feeds them of how much more value are you than birds so I like to start that scripture with something uplifting knowing where my help come from who I put my trust in then I like to read the New Testament a whole lot. So I would go to Proverbs. I would go with Psalms. I would go to Matthews. I will read anything. And I try to not really focus on, how can I say this? People would say, read a whole scripture. Sometimes one, read a whole chapter. Sometimes one scripture is all you really need. And you can meditate on that. So to me, I like to find one scripture to meditate on and focus on that. Then what I do is I go and I pray. And while I'm reading and I have the music going, I'll pray and I will say, God, help me to understand your words. Help me to understand your words, God, because I don't understand it sometimes. And I will pray and say, God, give me ears to listen. You know what I'm saying? help me to understand your word because that sometimes it could be confusing but I think it's the things that we are around I think it's the people that we are in conversation with that will confuse things for us when we are reading the word of God that's why it's very imperative that you get in your word and you stay in your word I don't care what sin you are partaking in I don't care what struggles you have get in your word and stay in your word <laughs> But yeah, I, I love Proverbs. I love Psalm, Ecclesiastics, um, Romans. I, Isaiah, I'm about to start reading Isaiah for the month of December. Um, Lamentations is good too. But I have these little scriptures that said, read every single day. Um, read when you sad. Some of the scriptures, the tabs say, check your heart. Another one says long hair. And this one says, read in an AM. This is Ephesians 12. Verse number 12, it says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against power, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. So if you're starting out reading and you want to start your day with God, hopefully this helps to point, point you in the right direction. But this is how I start my day with God. In the morning when I'm at work, I will not go into the building. I will sit in my car and I will get my iPad and I will start my day with God in my iPad. On the way to work, I will listen to godly music. When I get to work, I will then read my um, Bible scripture. Um, I do not bring my books and my Bible and my notebook to me. This is on my um, dresser nightstand over there by me, um, but I will read on my iPad mini and I will note and I will pray. I would take those same steps that I do at home, Saturdays and Sundays, Friday, Saturday, and Sundays, um, because I only go in the office three days a week, the other two days I go at home. So I do wake up early at home to start this. But these, these are the steps that I take to have a strong relationship with God. This is my morning routine that keeps me grounded, that keeps me, you know, coming back to God. Because a lot of times, this world will tell you you're not good enough. This world will kick you down. This world will make you feel like you are less than. But I try to 
get in God and stay in God. But hopefully this helps you guys with you incorporating your morning routine with guys with God. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and say it with me. Stay pretty. Stay busy. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.